round knockouts for Pacquiao, six for Barrera. Incidentally, 10,127 in the out. Pacquiao reaching with the left hand, Barrera reaching. Then I'd like to point out that. And Dickie Cole, or yes, why'd you call that a knockdown? I'm not sure that Cole saw that punch land. And I'm not sure that a punch did land. What happened? I didn't see a heavy punch land. It looked as much like a slip as anything else. Surprisingly, but McGuire is much more aggressive than I expected. Normally, when he fights southpaws, he's more of a conservative, laid-back counterpuncher. Pacquiao back back, something that Pacquiao was not prepared for. Barrera takes a couple of hard seem to counter back accurately when Pacquiao lands over the top. Now Barrera goes with the body, the left hooks. Pacquiao coming upstairs. Great action in the first round as Pacquiao tries. To... Left hand counter by Barrera. Where they will speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Good left jab. And since that time, he's been tactically in control. Tactically in control with the jab, but Pacquiao is trying to take control. He's, 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 is this going to be a good fight because neither guy's going to accept the other guy? Uh, Pacquiao has been getting his left hand in just like right there. Six in the last 30 seconds. Pacquiao strafing Barrera now with... Barrera is an amazingly patient fighter. And they call him, of course, the baby-faced assassin. He never shows emotion in the ring. Big combination by Barrera as he catches Pacquiao coming in. Manny comes back with body shots of his own. Hard body shots from Pacquiao. And that... Now has come out with a determined rally in round two. Trying to get back up on the scorecards after that strange knockdown route. Chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish for the third round. And he's getting reckless, and Barrera takes advantage. What a fight. Is Barrera prepared? Not like this. This round and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later. Pacquiao's gonna be in trouble, but if this stays right here, counter by everything is great for Pacquiao. Just stays right Pacquiao here. Pacquiao coming right through the right hand counter, landed another big. That's the most desperate look I've ever seen on Marco Antonio's face. Barrera seems to just tend to look a little too slow, even when he's punching. He doesn't ever seen him as he's now definitely trying to stay away and not always able to and momentarily stuns Pacquiao with a one-two. Pacquiao comes back, misses with the right. Stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe because of Pacquiao's fast. His right hand to his right side of his head, which means he's very, very vulnerable for straight left. Herrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but take... Our right hand by Pacquiao. Herrera just trying to stay away. Left. on his left cheek. It's either a cut or a mark of some. It's probably a mark of some time. But, but, but Pacquiao... Another actually, hard left Pac hand for Pacquiao, who's getting... The round. Not shooting so much hooks, maybe just through the center. So Marco Antonio Barrera is only 29 years old. He's been a fighting professional for 50 years. And, or 15 years, I should say. And there are... This fight here is perceived as Ali. So it appears to be another round that Pacquiao is like. In a real sense, Herrera's hometown. This is where he's uh, got a draw with Julio, I mean, with uh, Cornell Whitaker. Right? Like the same pace and not take a break at the end of the fight. These are Texas judges here tonight, too. Those are governing body judges who gave Chavez his draw with Whitaker. Effectively. Starting to dominate every area of the fight now. Barrera gets a hard right hand back. Thinks he's hurt Pacquiao. Chases him down a little bit. First hard point. left to the body back. Barrera's the kind of fighter who can win a fight when he's outgunned, but. Right. Seem to have the speed tonight. The moment gives as good as he takes. Another right hand over the top. Tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand. And there's another one like. That looks like a 
spots. Question. If he hit the wet spot, and that's why it went down, why didn't they? Before the fight, they tried, without question, to wet that wet spot. Yeah, firing combinations and landing them. And he backs Barrera into the ropes and hammers him again. Barrera wincing, the blood dripping into the corner of his eye. And Packer still determined not to let him take control over the fight. Even when he flares back, he's determined. Pacquiao. Now the right jab is coming. Good up the front by Barrera. Left hand counter. Stun Pacquiao. Stop. Now Barrera. Bu right. It's going to be a slugfest from here on in. Barrera understands he can't box for a minute. He's not going to try. He's got no choice, but he's behind on points. And and what's interesting? There's another bad head, but but Pacquiao can't. So where Barrera gets the cut. What? But but it brings a lot of spirit to much like New York, and that, that's really a quality that is hard to give a fighter. giving Barrera momentary breathing space, and Marco takes advantage to drive him in. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again, the power deficit. Right now, he cannot time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches now. He's throwing volumes of punches. Just a but I don't think he has a choice. I mean, this is a text for you, and I can safely coach to lose on a decision. I can get him and let it all go after a knockout. I would, in that case, I would try to go all out for a knockout. He can't. One means nothing to Barrera now. Minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't. Only the pass. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. Pacquiao just hammering him. Just hammering him. Right to left. And that's all there is to it. Just one quick point in round seven. But off of this, I'm not sure that. Well, I tell you what, as big as he is down in. Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. He's not coasting, he's not lighting it up like a lot of desperate moves. And you're gonna have to keep fighting them back when they make that move. If you slow down, you'll lose the fight off them. That's why those guys win a lot of close controversy from. You have to wonder now whether the rematch is one of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. Official knockdown of the fight for Pacquiao. He's right on top of Barrera. Pacquiao was right there. So Barrera almost went down from exhaustion, yes, in, in, that, in that occasion. But officially should have been knocked down. But he's taken a lot of left hand. Wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because Pacquiao is not backing off. If you had a guy that was he's getting hurt. Him, Here comes gotcha. Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Yeah. Finally. Very impressive. A superstar emerges in San Antonio. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao.